Okay, Python on Hardware this week in the newsletter. Um, we are celebrating uh, MicroPython new release and more than 20. And, and and I think um GL supplies. Yeah, I think my browser is like like completely filled. Like it's just like I'm just not gonna cooperate. So um there's a new version, and then of course, um happy birthday. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. Um, but this is the new version. We'll, you know, be doing our part to uh, grab the things that are um, added so we can keep up with all the changes. Um, and then I think the Raspberry Pi Pico W is now supported with Wi-Fi. That's kind of... I guess cool. officially supported. And then yeah. there's a new lightweight um, wireless manager. So like the Pico W is a great example where you can download uh, library files that you need through the internet. Um, they don't have drag and drop file support. They don't do... Mass storage, what we do, so it's extra useful for. Um, What's great is you can pick, yep. depending on what you want to do, and uh, that brings us to um, so MicroPython. We're one of the financial supporters. We support it with code. This is where Circuit Python came from. Um, MicroPython is celebrating its tenth year, its birthday. So we'll get the noise out about that. We're a sponsor on uh, GitHub, and so if you use MicroPython, check out the GitHub sponsors. And toss them a buck or two. It, keep, it keeps the development going. It definitely helps. It's it's what we build our core off of. And as they celebrate their uh, latest year, um, they have one of these cool. Um, here's all the pull requests. Yeah, and here, and who's yeah, you can visualize in. it, um, which is which is really neat. So you can see like kind of what's happened over the last decade. But this year they had a really neat poster, and uh, you can download it. We link to it. But um, let's just go through this here. They go from the early days, 2013. That's when we all ran into the it. The Kickstarter, yeah. Yeah, the Kickstarter. Uh, then they had MicroPython Pi Boards for Everyone. They did two talks at Python uh, UK. In 2015, Py MicroPython went to space. So they had uh, MicroPython on embedded systems that were in rockets, that were in um, satellites. And then... Uh, other news, and this is where we come in, um, 2017. Yeah, that's starting. So um, we've been, you know, keeping keeping up with the the changes, and then also uh, making MicroPython work for our hardware and lots of different hardware. And 2018, they announced the Pyboard D. Um, it uh, I think got some type MicroPython got some type of space qualification. Yeah, it's cool. They did a modular uh, system with um, their boards to make. it Yeah, easier. you could uh, plug in little like like there's LED add-ons and yeah. like wireless add-ons. And cool. then uh, we did Python. Um, and then 2020, Pybricks 2021. That's when some of the RP2040 stuff came along. And then kind of big news uh, for folks who uh, play along. In 2023, apparently, there's going to be another platform supported. Ambic. Yeah. Which does Bluetooth, very low power Bluetooth. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, they picked that platform. Um, we've never done stuff with Ambic. You know, we use Nordic for Bluetooth and ESP32 and RP2040. But you know what? It's great to have more chips supported. Yeah. And then we'll see what we uh, do in add to circuit Python with that. It's all part of Adafruit Daily Newsletter. Delivered to you every single week. Adafruitdaily.com. We do not do anything with your email address and we don't spam you. I have a completely separate site. Just to make sure. Correct. It's super clear. We don't like spam even more than you don't like spam. Mm. Um,